Good morning, Grace. Welcome to uh, Grace 1010. And uh, I just want you to know it's an honor and a privilege for me to be able to share this with you today. I uh, am looking out my window here and it's a beautiful day. And it's a day that we can rejoice and be glad in it, you know. Don't let anything bother you. The Lord is with you always. Well, I'll wait here for a second to see uh, if we can get a few more people on. But uh, in meanwhile, go ahead and, and share this, uh, if you would, please, on your Facebook page or Instagram, wherever you'd like to share it. <laughs> it's up to you. But uh, let's spread the word. <clears throat> you know, uh, today I want to talk about serving. <coughs> oh, pardon me. You know, I haven't coughed all day until I get in here. Satan, you know. Anyways, uh, the joy of serving. You know, what it is like to serve. And really, I want to share eight blessings with you that you get when you do serve. You know, serving, I, I looked up the word serve in the dictionary. And it says it's a verb to perform duties or services for another person or an organization. Serving people is such a blessing. I just can't tell you. I, uh, I remember when I was a baby Christian, I would go to my, the men's fellowship. We had uh, about 40 guys in this fellowship. And there was one guy that would play guitar and lead worship, you know. And I remember just loving to sing and worship the Lord. And I kept thinking, gee, I wish I could do that. I wish I could just play guitar. I never I never played guitar. I wanted to play the guitar. But uh, I just sat there and I kept thinking, oh, I wish I could do that. I wish I could do that. And every, every uh, Thursday night was the, the night for Men's Fellowship. Every night I'd sit there and worship the Lord and say, gee, I wish I could do that. And one day or one evening, like a bolt of lightning, out of the sky comes, while I'm saying, I wish I could do that, I hear this voice in my head, you can, Jim, just get up. So I, uh, I approached the guy that was leading worship, and I said, hey, could you just teach me a little bit about guitar? I'd love to lead worship. And um, long story short, he, led, he taught me three chords, and my very first song that I learned was, Lord, I Lift Your Name on High. And that actually had four or five chords in it, but uh, I, I ended up learning all of them so I could sing it. And I just loved doing that, and ultimately I ended up leading worship for that men's group. And it was such a blessing to serve. You know, when you serve others, you're allowed to, de to, to develop and know your spiritual gifts, you know. Um... You know, everybody's got a gift, just like the our body. We have fingers, we got eyeballs, we got noses, nose, and uh, spiritual gifts are the same way for the church. You know, uh, whether you are a greeter at the door, you work on a tech team, or you're in a worship team, every part is a function and and a uh, a need in the church for us to serve. And it just allows us to develop our spiritual gifts. You know, and serving others allows us to experience miracles. You know, in the Bible, in John chapter 2, um, Jesus was at a wedding. It was the first miracle, I believe, that he performed. And he's at a wedding, and uh, the servants say, hey, we're out of wine, you know. And so Mary says, hey, do what he says to the servants. And so they... Jesus turns the water into wine. The guests didn't know what was going on. The, the, the party goers were clueless. But the servants, the people that served, they were the ones that were blessed. They saw the miracle. Think about that. And serving allows us to experience joy and peace that comes from obedience. You know, serving is a form of worship. It uh, expresses gratitude to what Jesus has done for us. Serving is, is, is a blessing. 
Uh, serving helps us to be more like Jesus. Think about that. When we serve others, we're doing what Jesus did. Jesus served us. And uh, we get the focus off of us and onto others by serving. And it's, uh, it's like I said, it, these are the blessings of serving. <clears throat> serving surrounds us with other Christians who help us follow Jesus. You know, if we're alone, if we're not in, in a fellowship somewhere, in church or in a small group or just with, with uh, friends, Christian friends, we can get off track real easy. But when we serve with others, they help us to keep focused and on track. You know, in Hebrews it says, you know, spur one another on to good works. And uh, that's what serving does. It helps us to spur one another on to good works. And serving increases our faith. You know, when you serve, you see these miracles. You see kind of the behind the scenes of what's going on in our church or in, our, in, in whatever ministry you might be serving in. And you'll see that... that uh, God is working in, in everyone and through everyone, and it's just, uh, you see these things happening. Uh, you know, it, it just uh, increases our faith by, by showing us our potential and the potential of others, and just how they serve and how, how, how much God has uh, influenced them and, and helped them along their way. And, uh, you know, it's it's when you serve like that, it's you're looking for doors to open, that God opens to use your potential, rather than you on your own pushing against doors that God has closed. You know, serving allows us to experience God's presence in new ways. You know, it's like uh, mission trips. Think about that. When you go on a mission trip, or if you've never been on one, when you talk to somebody that comes back from a mission trip, what do they say? 99.9%, .9 I've never heard anybody actually say, oh, I didn't like that. They all come back feeling like they got more than they gave. And it's because they served others. And God blesses you that way. And, you know, finally, serving is good for the soul. I'll tell you. Um, you know, sitting in worship, wishing I could do something, was not as good as leading worship and serving the Lord. I'll tell you, it is such a blessing to serve the Lord. You know, uh, it's good for the body and soul. It can ease tension. It can ease stress, depression. It can help you with so many things, you know, when you're involved in serving others. You know, and people make all sorts of excuses for, for not serving. Um... You know, like, I don't have time. You're watching TV, but you got time for that. But, you know, no, you need to, you, you've got time, you know. Uh, I don't know what I could do. Well, you know, just be available and God will lead you, you know. I don't have any special skills or, or uh, anything to contribute. That's not true. We all have skills that the Lord has given us. And, uh, you know, some people say, well, they don't need me. That's not true either. We need you. We need people in our ministry right now. We're shorthanded in, in the video ministry. We're shorthanded in, in uh, several ministries, actually. And if people just step up and serve and, and, and say that uh, they're available, God will use them. You know, you've all heard that uh, God doesn't call the equipped he equips the called, right? You know, when God called me to lead worship, he equipped me. He taught me how to play the guitar. And I had a voice that could, that at that time was, was pretty good. <laughs> I'm, and here I am being boastful. I shouldn't boast though. But I'll tell you, it was such a blessing to just stand up there and lead men, hear them all just pour their hearts out to the Lord. Uh, that just blessed me so much more than being in the congregation and, and being a part of that worship. Although, you know, there's you can't compare worshiping the Lord to anything else. So, all right, here I am ram rambling on a little bit. Um, 
you know, and, and I'm, I'm out of time now. So I want to just uh, end this with encouraging you to serve. You'll be blessed beyond measure. Believe me, I, uh, I serve and I feel an anointing when the Lord puts me in the church, in a body, serving others. You know, in Joshua, you know, Joshua tells the Am Amorites that, uh, hey, you know, you got to choose who to serve. You can serve the God of the Amorites or you can serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I encourage you, step out, serve the Lord. Be a part of what's going on at your church and enjoy the fruit of that. The Lord will truly bless you. All right, time is up. I just want to tell you, thank you again for allowing me the privilege of being here this morning and sharing this with you. And I just uh, want you to know that Jesus loves you, and I do too. All right? You guys have a great day.